Okay, and your name will show up on the screen. Okay. <clears throat> All right, guys, so we're doing a bit of a different challenge today. Um, we actually demoed this challenge on the stream yesterday as a bit of a trial run. I think it went super well, so we're bringing it to you guys on the tubes. Uh, the challenge is pretty simple. It's the one hour Kaizo challenge. There's a timer that is going to be in the top right. Right now it shows double zero, but it will count down from 59, uh, 59, whenever I, I start it. And we are giving ourselves one hour to beat a difficult Mario Maker 2 level. So we are giving ourselves one hour to beat a level. This level is actually by Panga, my good friend. He makes some sick levels. This one's called Wide People Happy. Um, and it is one of his easier ones. I figure we should start with an easy thing and then work our way up. But uh, yeah, we have one hour to get from the start of the level to the end of the level. If I fail to get to the end of the level, I'm going to gift five subs to my chat. <laughs> During the one hour challenge, if I am stuck on a part, I can allow myself to watch the clear video for it. But if I do that and then I still fail, I have to double up on the subs. So it's 10 gifted if I watch the, the clear video and don't beat it. All right, so it's double or nothing on the gift subs. So pretty high stakes here, pretty high stakes. Half of these, half of these levels are like doing the hard inputs, but the other half is like actually knowing what to do. And so if you watch the video, you kind of fill in half the equation and it all becomes just inputs at that point, which is why, you know, it should be easier in theory, right? Let's just see how it goes. But yeah, new rule chat, double or nothing on the, uh, on the clear vid. All right, so I have actually not seen this video or the clear video for this. I did see Panga beat it in person like four months ago. So I, I guess I have a bit of an edge in that front because uh, at AGDQ, he actually beat this level on my Switch, gave himself maker points on my account, and then that was it. And I was sitting next to him whenever he did it, but I didn't do it myself, so. So, the thing about Panga levels is that each one has a theme. Okay, what do we do here? Do you like jump up and hit the POW? How does this work? Is it like that? Oh, it is like that, okay. Oh! <laughs> no! Well, it would help if we actually hit the POW block now, wouldn't it? The theme of this level is uh, the, the, the wide mushroom. We're using the power of Thick Toad. And because it's an SMB1 level, it's gonna be all about that air control. Gotta have control of the aerials. But yeah, I don't know if this is a thing that you guys would like to see. I just really have been wanting to get under the hard level grind for a while now, and I've never really been able to think of a good way to do it. And I feel like this is a good challenge for uh, bringing something fun to you guys, and also it's an incentive for me to get better. So it's a win-win. And we're dead. <laughs> Dude, I don't even know how I got there. I got, like, to the, the piranha, or, like, the, the, the chompers super fast. And now I can't even get there again. We can't already be regressing. This is not good. This is not ideal. Okay. Oh, no! <laughs> I forgot about that. Okay, so how does this work? Oh, apparently it works like that. Okay. Am I gaming? I'm not gaming. I was supposed to hit those guys. <laughs> what does that do though? Clearly this is not the move. Save me, dude! Save me, dude! Hey, you know, we're kind of gaming. That, that panga level from yesterday only ended up taking me an hour and a half. And that one was a long one, so... Who knows, maybe we'll we'll make quick work of this, who knows. Because to be honest with you, I don't even know what my own skill level is on a level like this. I've never really put, like, any time into Kaizo. So I actually have no idea where I'm at in the skill department. Do you need to be thick the whole level? Yeah, so the thing about panga levels is that they always have a theme. And the theme of this one is the big mushroom, or the like mega mushroom. So you have to have it pretty much to beat the level. These ones are all about the momentum. So if you're not in control of your dude, he kind of goes off the rails. Oh! 
Oh no! Wait, we were making huge gains. I wonder how much further is in the level. Oh, I bet I have to slide under that. That's a nice block, right? Big progress. Big, huge progress. I feel like we're actually doing pretty good. You know, it's kind of hard to s determine how well you're doing whenever you have to put like a timer up against yourself and you don't know what the, the end is because then like you don't know if you're close to the end or not, right? Oh! Oh, you have to like do this like a P-switch, right? Or not a P-switch, like a- like a Z-spin in Super Mario World. Why did I say P-switch? P, not Z. Or Z, not P, sorry. God, I'm getting all my letters confused now. The P-Z is an auto-pistol in, in Counter-Strike. No, that's the C-Z, sorry. The C-Z. Oh, that's kind of tricky. You can't full-hold jump there. Because if you full-hold jump, you hit your dang noggin. Dang it, man. They removed the quesarito as a combo. You have to order it on its own now. What's the, what kind of messed up world do we live in that you can't get a quesarito combo? I still got it, though. I don't care if it costs more. Go! Okay. Oh my god, we were close. Do I have to be... How do I do that faster? I don't actually know how to do that faster. I thought I was good. Okay, wait. What is this? What? Do you like- I'm just trying to- I'm trying to feel this out. What is this, dude? Okay, well I see the pipe. Oh god, I don't even know what any of that is. We're gonna have to make some big gains here, team. This is only- and that's only the halfway point. So I'd say we're like, what, 25% done? I mean, we're not too far off the mark, but we're gonna need to get gains at some point. Otherwise, we're a little bit behind schedule. Oh! Okay, you gotta be going like full speed on that. I bet you land that and then you slide. Is it possible to go one stream without talking about the Taco Bell menu? Probably not. <laughs> Why isn't Taco Bell on Twitch? Good question. They're waiting- they're waiting for their first eSports sponsor. Or eSports athlete to sponsor. It's gonna be me. I'm gonna put them on the map on Twitch, okay? <clears throat> I might watch the clear vid in a sec. I- I have a strategy for that, cause you know, it's double or nothing with the clear vid. It's like, it's like, who wants to be a millionaire? You know, you have a lifeline. If I watch the clear of it, I am gonna watch it on stream, and I will pause the timer as well. Mm -mm. Okay, I think we're gonna pause this real quick. Uh, oh god. Okay, I think we're gonna bust out the clear of it with 31 on the clock right now. So one second, I'm gonna get this pulled up. So let's, this is the clear video for this, so let me see him play this. So we're getting the intel right now. Breaking some of the blocks. If you'd like to point out which box you can skip, let me know. Here we go. You can probably skip this one if you want, but I think it's no point to try to avoid hitting that block. All right, we, we're doing this part right at least, which is good to see. You can technically not hit these blocks, but it'd make it way harder. Okay, so that part I'm doing right. So one jump, hit the block, two jumps, hit the block. You can also skip hitting that one if you want, but again, that makes it harder for yourself. Okay, this is good because I didn't know how to do this part. These are not jumps. That one is a jump. That's a short hop. You want to make it a little harder for yourself? Mm -hmm. Oh my god! I'm glad I watched the clear vid. I would have gotten wrecked by that guy. Okay, we got to remember that though. We got to remember that. Okay, one, two... Okay, wait, 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 wait. You're going too fast here, bud. You need to slow down for me. <laughs> Yo, hi, Lane Caitlin. Thanks for the half year. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Okay. <sighs> I'm playing it, dude. Dude, uh, do exclamation point one hour. I, I need to watch it, though, because I'm watching the clear vid right now, so I need to get the intel.
Wow, that looks pretty tight. A little back and forth. Short hops. A little zigzag action onto the mole. One, two. Oh god, what? <laughs> that looks hard, dude. That that looks like the hardest part in the whole thing. <sighs> One, two, three, four. Interesting, dude. Is there any trolls here? Yeah, it's one. Dude, I think I can do it, but I'm gonna need to make some big gains. I think we can do it, but we're gonna need to make huge improvements, dude. We're gonna need to make massive improvements. Let me go back to this part, which is where I was at before. This part looks not that hard, but it's actually fairly hard. I, I think if we get the checkpoint though, that'll be big because I won't have to do the first part again. So I can just focus on this. I, like if you if you treat it like two mini levels, I feel like that helps. Ah, uh, okay. So you do that and then you do that and then jump to that one. Okay. All right. Progress though. Progress. Okay, okay, we're getting we're getting the consistency down. This is big. Oh, we made it! And then I jumped off like an idiot. Okay, that was big though, that was big. I panicked, dude. I had a panic situation. That's okay. We're making gains right now. Ah, oh, we scuffed it. Dude, the heckin' spike. Things are not looking good for your boy, so we might be hitting you with a tin pack of gift subs. But you know, let this be an incentive to you, YouTube watcher or Twitch viewer, to be here in the stream whenever I'm doing the challenge. Because if you're here, especially at the end, you could be a recipient. Okay. Oh, that's a tricky one. Okay, I, I le I'm learning though. We're learning. We're learning. This is big. Also, for the record, I plan on failing a lot at the beginning of the series of these challenges because I have like next to no Kaizo experience. So I'm like a baby in the Kaizo universe. But I figured one hour is a good way to show progress and also make it competitive. If it's like, hey, I have 10 hours to do a Kaizo level, what are the chances we don't get that? You know, I don't know. Even my very, f my only other Panga level that I had beaten until yesterday, Pog Slide, it only took me, what, like 12 or 13 hours, and that was with literally zero experience. So like, something like 10 hours, I feel like is a little excessive. Oh, I forgot that you have to jump on that. Oh, God. Oh, man. And then you have to get the mole, too, don't you? No! Wait, wait, can I go again? There's no way, right? We don't get a round two. Scuffed! Almost did. Okay, 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 we're close. We're close, man. We're getting the consistency down a little bit. Ah, okay, that was close. We got a few more tries.
No! Look at that, dude. All right, we got maybe one more shot. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, that's so hard. All right, final run. Let's go. This is it, dude. This is it. We got to make it count. We hacked it, dude. We threw. I'll squeeze in one more just because the time's still going, but I think we might have hacked it. Let's see. If I make it on this att attempt, I'll count it. Ah, oh, we hacked it, dude. Pep hands. All right, 10 pack incoming. Ooh. Woo. Dropping them. Hot drop. All right, all right. So I got I got a few closing thoughts here that I want to say, and then and then we'll be wrapping up the stream, okay? So, final thoughts on this. Can you beat a Kaizo level in one hour? Dude, 100%. The problem is, I've only ever done two Kaizo levels in my life, and one of them was yesterday. So we don't have the muscle memory yet, which means we might be gifting out subs for these first few, but I think as our power level grows and we become stronger, just like we did in versus mode, eventually we will overcome the adversity that the level brings. All right, all right, all right, all right. I know what you're thinking. What is this guy doing on my screen? So two things, real quick. Uh, this is Raise Fire a few days later, editing the video. Uh, the first thing I wanna say is, as of like an hour ago, we just hit 30,000 YouTube subscribers. So if you are one of the 30K, thank you so much. Uh, it means a lot to me that we were able to break that milestone in such a short amount of time. So thank you guys so much for watching. Second thing, related to the video, I was thinking about it and I decided, you know what? No one likes a cliffhanger. No one likes to leave something unfinished. Uh, and you know, what if, what if I never come back to the level, right? What if I just say, oh, I'll come back to it later. And then I never do. Right. So I was thinking, you know what, dude, let's just, let's just man up and get it done. All right. We're just going to finish it right now. We're going to do a half Twitch, half YouTube exclusive video, and we're just going to finish up this heckin' guy. All right. I'll, I'll put the timer in the top, right? Just like it was on stream. But instead of counting down, it's going to be counting up. Um, you know what? I'll even start it at one hour so you can see the total time that I've spent on the level and we're just gonna heck and finish it, dude All right, you know, what? we'll just we'll just do it Um, and you know, it kind of works out right that way you guys on YouTube get to see the end of the level Which the twitch people don't get and then the twitch people they get the gifted subs because they were there And the YouTube people weren't so you know, it's it, it balances out at the end of the day, right? So win-win Okay, anyways enough of me blabbering. Let's get to the actual clear um, thank you guys again so much for the support, and let's get this taken care of. <laughs> All right, so we are back in the game here. Um, before I, before I go ahead and click start here and start the timer, um, if you're wondering about the clear icon here in the top left, you can see that it's already been beaten. It actually was not beaten by me. Funny story about that, actually. Uh, Panga himself beat the level at GDQ, at AGDQ, and, uh, he liked it on my account so he could get maker points <laughs> so there you go i personally have not actually beaten it so i just wanted to clear that up now i'm not gonna lie being back in this level again oh god <laughs> i can already feel the rust man being back in being back in this level again after a few days you would think wouldn't make a difference but uh it, it makes a bit of a difference there has been at least 24 hours between when oh my god <laughs> when the video was recorded that you previously watched up until this point and what we're doing right now this is this is new content this could have been a mistake i didn't even start the timer look at this who is this guy we didn't even start the timer you know what scuffed but we're in too deep at this point we have to finish right you know i think the hardest thing about this level now that i'm playing through it again is that like it's not even really any difficult like tricks you know there's not like a million shell jumps or anything like that it's just very precise inputs like a sequence of very precise inputs now maybe that's the whole thing about kaizo levels and i'm just like having this realization like an hour too late but you know i was like i was going into this thing and i was like you know what this is gonna be this is gonna be easy right like there's no shell jumps in this i got this easy but then here we are like an hour later and i'm just like whoa this is wild this is craziness No, we were close. 
So the, the tricky thing about that part, man, is that, that part where you have to go ahead and then you have to go back and it's like, a whoa, dude. It is so spooky. It really forces you to leave your comfort zone. You want to just be chilling on the dude, but you can't be chilling on the dude, man. You got things to accomplish, moles to take out, blocks to break. Okay. All right. It took us like five minutes to get back to this point, but we're here again. I'm going to take a minute to pause. Get a drink of water. Let's focus on the task at hand. We got to remember, we do have to jump one more time on the final double, and we have to hit it and jump back onto the wiggler. Also, I remember from the clear video, we do need to crouch if we do make it up there, so we don't need to panic. We just need to keep it together. We can do this. Oh, we even got it. Is there any way we can win? I'm sad. Go back, Mr. B no, it's all over, dude. Oh, it's all over. No, we were right there, man. Oh, we hacked it. So close. <clears throat> that final jump, man. That's all we got to get. I'm surprised that one worked, to be honest. Okay, 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 okay. Crouch! Oh! Okay, okay. Huge moment here. At 131, we hit the checkpoint. Alright, I just want to take a minute to breathe. We need to relax. All right, now, okay, we didn't get it on stream, but let the record show to the non-believers that were in the Twitch stream, we made it to the halfway mark. Now, we still have half the level to go, but because we hit that checkpoint, that thing is huge, dude. We don't have to do that section ever again, unless there's like a power surge and the switch turns off, which, God, I hope that doesn't happen, but, you know, we'll cross that road when it happens. <laughs> but we made it, so onward to part two. All right, so first looks here. I will admit it's been a few days since I've seen the video. Um, I do remember that it uses the little metal, or not the metal, the, the little wooden pegs here. And there's one part where you have to like do this, like back and forth on an on off switch, which I'm really not looking forward to. Uh, but I mean, let's just jump into it, all right? First impressions here. Uh, I'm dead. So I think we have to break that block and then get out of the way and then jump back up on top of it with the, with the, the, Jump on the bob bomb on top. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Alright, so we're gonna do this. And then we're gonna do this. And oh my god. Jumping on those things is surprisingly weird, man. Okay, okay. Wait. That's crazy. Okay, wait, don't hit. Let's start over. If we hit the start over button, that is very bad. We don't want to do that. That is That is like almost that's probably worse than a power surge just hitting my apartment. I'm really- I'm- I'm trying to remember how to do this, and I don't remember. We might have to take a detour really quick. Uh, you know, I might have to pause the timer, go refresh my mind on the clear vid, because we have already seen it, so you know, it's not- it's not really cheating, I think, since we've- we've already had the intel in our brain. Uh, you know what? Just to- just to be safe, I think we're gonna do that. So I'm gonna take this death, and I'm gonna really quickly go watch the, uh, go watch the clear vid. I'll pause the timer here, one sec. I don't remember what button does that. Uh, I'll just do it manually. Okay, and then I'll be right back. Alright, so I took a little took a little break. We watched the clear video again. Uh, I'm not going to show it to you guys because there's no sense in you seeing it again because I, I showed it in the, the first part of the video, but um, the, the memory is refreshed and man, it is a doozy. That being said, I don't think there's anything that's super tedious except for that little crouch jump on the on-off switch. Uh, 
that we were that I was talking about before. So I'm hoping that a lot of these obstacles won't take me more than one attempt each. Maybe maybe a handful. So we're gonna start the timer again. Fingers crossed we can hammer this guy out in another like 30, 45. And let's just let's just get to it. Alright, so the timer has been started again. Let's just kill it. Yeah, I'm really glad I refreshed my memory though, because uh you're supposed to jump on this guy. And I did not remember that you were supposed to jump on that guy. And I don't know if I would have figured it out, to be honest. God, I feel like after I'm done with this level, I'm never going to want to use the thick toadette or thick toad power up ever again. Ooh, this is a tricky one. I nervously drink water. I nervously drink water every time that I mess up or die in a video game. And, uh,. When I started this recording 30 minutes ago. Oh! This is what I get for talking. We actually finally made it to that part. Uh, anyways, uh, when I started recording, this water bottle was full. It is empty now, alright? That's how many times I've nervously taken drinks of water. I was choking on my water. I nervously drank so much water that I started coughing during that attempt. And it ended up being my best one. That's okay, we're learning! Oh, we didn't go far enough. Well, you really gotta reach out there, man. You really gotta extend your hand forward and say, Take it, sir, take it. Oh, Mr. Thwomp, no! He hacked me, man. That Thwomp, he really did me like that. But you know what they say, it do be like that sometimes. Oh, that was big! We almost had it, dude. We almost had it. I think that might be a new development. I feel like I'd run into a brick wall there for a moment. I was getting a little antsy, not gonna lie. The ants were definitely... ...moving around. Okay, okay, okay. I, I knew about the thwomp. I knew he was coming in hot. We just gotta be a little bit faster on our, our squat jumps. But the good news is here, if you look at the timer in the top right, you'll see not much time has passed since we got there a second ago and just had that attempt. Because we're gaming! Oh, we wait! Oh, I didn't even realize, man! I was like gaming, I got so in the zone there that I hit the three pegs and I was like, wait, don't I have to hit the, the block? And then I forgot to hit the block. And so because I didn't hit it, uh, we, we lost. Honestly though, I wasn't even expecting it to happen. So it, it caught me off guard as well. And I'm dead. No, not again! No, Mr. Thingy! No, Mr. Thingy! I don't even know what Mr. Thingy is, dude. <laughs> I just- I realized, like, I was so focused on making it through the, the previous part that I made it there and I was like, wait! No, not the jumps, not again! Okay, and... we've got it! Nice! Oh my god, I was so fast for the thing that I beat the cycle! What? 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 I was like, okay, I'm, I gotta do this fast, because I'm gonna be too slow otherwise, and the muncher's gonna land on my dang noggin. And you know what? We just were so fast on that part, <laughs> that I was like, I, I was like over-prepared for it, I feel like. Like, I was so legitimately scared that the dude was gonna just crash on my head at any moment, that I was like, go, 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 go! <laughs> and we were rushing it. Believe it or not, sometimes when you're trying to go fast, you gotta go slow. Thomas Jefferson told me that. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh my god, we actually got all four of them. I wonder if you get all four, if you can just come over here. Imagine one cycling that. I, I don't know if you can. Okay. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> okay, that was big though. That was a confidence builder, man. All I could say during that was okay, but like, bro.
Bro, we made it through, and that's what matters. Okay, so I know what you're thinking. Raise fire. The sun is out. Have you been at it all night? Why is the timer still low? Absolutely not, guys. What are you talking about? I would never do such a thing. No, really, though, uh, it was getting late, so I decided, you know what? We made big progress. We're just going to sleep on it. We're going to wake up. We're going to finish it in the morning. We're going to hammer it out really quick, and we should have time to get it in the video. Uh, I overslept, so if this video does not come out at 3 p.m., and you make it this far, and you're wondering, why is this video so late? Uh, it's because your boy overslept. And I took forever to beat this level. Okay. Okay. Well, I gotta take a minute to breathe here. We have a bit of a- we've got a bit of a stopping point. This is the first time we've made it through the demon section. That's what I'm gonna call that part. The demon section. Because that part literally took me like an hour, I think, to get past. I, I don't remember the- I don't want, I don't remember when I got there for the first time, but if you look at the timer on the top right, and like, you compare it to when I first got there, that's how long it took me to get through that. Okay, I think I know what we need to do. It's all about the timing. We're gonna wait for this guy on this- on the- the music note to go- be going down, and that's when we do the jump, alright? Uh, I- I think we acted! <laughs> I don't think I did that right. Okay, we've made it back here again. I'm gonna pause just to get my breath back. The fact that we made it back again so fast is great. It means we're getting the consistency, so now let's just focus on the task ahead, alright? So, let me break it down for you. Whenever the thing is going down, that is when we jump onto the next section. And from there, it's, I think, one jump on the peg, and then a jump on the right to, uh, break the- the block, I believe, and then you jump back left again. I'm- I'm not- I- I don't fully remember. I'm getting kinda antsy, dude. I think I'm gonna check the tapes a second time. <laughs> I don't- I don't want to, but I feel like it's- it's for the best, you know? We're- we're in so deep at this point. Okay, so... We jump on the- the left stack, just to get our bearings, and time the jumps, and then we go for the right. And it's two jumps on the right. Okay. Alright, we've got it. Okay, here we go. Back to this place. Let's just be patient. Ah, we were close. We gotta be a little bit... We gotta be a little bit quicker on those jumps. You know, it's quite an emotional roller coaster. I feel like these levels are definitely a test of perseverance, man. It's a- it's a constant back and forth of, uh, yeah, we're making progress, we got this, to then you mess up a lot and you're like, Oh god. I'm- I'm putting a lot of time into this, do I really want to do this? But at the end of the day, the love of the game wins out every time. Oh, we got the shell hit! That's huge! Okay, okay. And then, like, this right here, this little obstacle with the on-off switch right there, that is the end, man. If we can just make it through that shell jump, we'll be at basically the final two jumps of the whole level. So, we are almost done. We just gotta bring it home. A little bit further, we can do it. Ah, okay, okay, we got the hit. Okay, so I think I have the timing down on the jumps. It's three medium jumps off the moles to get the perfect timing there. But I- I need to- I need to stop, like, holding back left. Well, you gotta commit, dude. You gotta commit in that situation. But you know what that means? I feel like that means the clear is near. Hashtag, the clear is near. Get it trending now on Twitter. Thick Toad needs to hit the shell with his dang chest, and we will be in there. I'm counting on you, Thick Toad. This is your time, man. Your time in the spotlight. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> what? I think I mid-aired that. I almost cheesed it. If I make it onto this platform, I think- I think I could just do that. I'm not going to. That's not- that's not what we're supposed to do, but like, what? 
That's crazy. Oh, we got the shell jump and I hit the heckin' spike, dude. I hit the heckin' spike, dude. There's the goal. That wall is the end. Oh my god, we could do it. We could do it. <sighs> okay. My heart rate is through the roof right now. This is the last section. Okay. Okay. All we have to do is wait until the final peg is going down. Crouch jump to the on-off block. Jump right and back up on top of the wiggler and that's on top of the thwomp. Then we jump back down. That's it. We can do this. Not quite. <laughs> Okay, here we are. Third time. We got this. We don't got this. <laughs> That's a tricky jump, man. It looks it looks so simple, but it hits you, dude. Here we are. Okay. No! That was it! We were at the goal! No! Oh, that's so hard, man. You get the jump, but then you have to, like, have enough momentum holding back so you can double back. How did I do it that one time, man? We've entered hour four. Morale is low. Hunger is high. If I was a sim in The Sims, my little diamond over my head would be red. Yet the journey continues. We cannot give up. The end is in sight. We must acquire victory! Do not give up. Regardless of how delirious you get. It'll all be okay at the end of the day. You just gotta keep it together. We can do it, man, I believe. Okay. Let's just go for it. No! Oh my god, every time I mess that jump up, I get so sad, man. You have no idea. It's, I think it's because we're so close to being done, but with every minute that passes that it's not done, it's like you've been stuck on that jump for that long. This level is taking me on an emotional roller coaster. You know, I did the one hour challenge originally. And then I was like, oh, well, we pretty much got to the halfway point, so, like, maybe I can just do a, you know, a little recording on my off day here. And, uh, have it done in, like, another hour, and it'll be easy to edit, and, you know, it'll be a great time. Here we are at the four-hour mark. What a journey it has been, let me tell you. We're gonna have to crouch jump. I was hoping like we could get away with that without crouch jumping, but we're definitely gonna have to crouch jump it. Okay, crouch jump. We got this. Okay. Yes! Oh my god, it's over! Oh my god, and for the meme, we gotta finish at 420. Gotta do it, gotta do it, gotta do it, gotta do it. Boop! 420! Boom! Done! The headphones are off! Woo! Oh my god! Ah, it's over! It's over, dude. The journey has come to a conclusion. After four hours and 20 minutes of grinding. 
We are done here. Now you might be asking the question, race fire. Can you beat passive Papanga wide people happy in one hour? Can you complete the one hour Kaizo challenge? And the answer to that question is, no, I cannot. At least not this time. But we can beat it. And we've just beaten it. Thank you guys so much for watching. A bit of an off-the-cuff, different style of video here. If you enjoyed this, though, let me know. I would love to play through more Kaizo levels and increase the skills and kind of showcase different level makers here. Um, but we're trying to do a little more variety on the channel. So if you enjoyed it, definitely let me know in the comments down below. Uh, also, let me know the hardest level you've played. I'm curious to see what you guys are capable of as well. As always, guys, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like, give it a thumbs up, whatever it's called these days, I don't know. Uh, drop a sub if you haven't already. <laughs> and I will see you next time.